coming right up. The Bulls taking on the Cavaliers. For Chicago, a mixed bag for this team to start the season. But one run can catapult them to where they want to be. Will that change happen tonight? We'll find out shortly. Cavs, Bulls is next. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our game. NBA Cup action coming your way shortly. Alongside Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. And on the sidelines, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. And a chance now to see how teams are faring across the league. Here's the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Take a look at the Hornets. They're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And you know, right now for the Bulls, they're rolling. And we expected that. Lots of talent. The chemistry is there. And so is the unrivaled production. And a look at the starters for the Cavaliers. A loaded backcourt. It's Garland and Mitchell. A lot of length inside. It's Mobley and Allen in the post. And it's Bible in at the three, the small forward. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. In this early bit of the season, Greg, how important are team goals? Well, Kevin, you have to be working towards something, whether it's a specific rank or a record. Early goals help you define your team for the season ahead. Out of bounds, Cleveland will take possession. Cleveland with the ball. Mitchell with it. What a tremendous game he played against New York. Trains the three-pointer. Well, nice rise and fire from range by Darius Garland. The three-point shot so highly valued. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Well, Billy Donovan and I got a chance to talk for a little bit. And his priority this time out is trying to make it hard for Donovan Mitchell. He told me Donovan is an elite three-level scorer. It's going to take more than one player to slow him down. We need all five guys communicating and working together defensively. A big challenge. Guys? Thank you, David. Now, here's Garland. His last outing, you saw him pour in 22. And so just over a minute and a half played. Back to Dosumu. To the paint. It's deflected. Stolen by Allen. Outside Garland. Mobley outside. Pass to Thibel. Six to shoot. Now Garland. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Mobley misses. The Bulls off to a slow start. The question for them right now, can they maintain this winning streak? They've notched 11 in a row. You have to give a ton of credit to not only the coaching staff for having their group prepared to play nightly, but also a ton of credit to these players who have been solid with their rotations, who've been committed to both ends of the floor. Their depth has been apparent. This is a formidable team right now. Now, here's Mobley. Last game he had 13. Pass to Garland. Jacks up a three. Misses his second shot in four attempts from the field. So the Bulls, their last game, a win against Brooklyn. That ties it up. And no problem for Morant that close to the hoop. Once he gets inside, he makes it look easy. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Cleveland. They are coming into this having notched a win against the Knicks in their last game. And in that one, the offensive execution made the difference. They found and exploited the mismatch repeatedly. Well, it was certainly a game that their analytics people had to love breaking down. I thought they exposed every weakness in the defense. Now, here's MP. Following the miss by Donovan Mitchell. A nice shot by MP. MP with video game numbers. How about the 60, 20, and 10 tripled up? An all-time game in league history. MP just doing everything. This guy is a human cheat code. Well, how about the touch inside from Jared Allen? This guy has got such length and mobility. You add that touch and look out, folks. He's going to be tremendous. Now, here's MP. Playing Brooklyn, he was nearly unstoppable. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Now.
Williams passes to MP. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. MP's got seven. Cavaliers trailing. Mobley outside. Fable for three. It's hauled in by the Bulls. MP's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Morant passes to MP. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Pass to Mobley. And it's Chicago with the rebound. And we've been following this group's absolute dominant season, winning most games in blowout fashion. Truly record-setting fashion. Nonetheless, though, it's been demoralizing to teams facing this group. I mean, before halftime, teams are often down by 15 or 20 points. We might be witnessing another blowout in the making here tonight. Here's Moran. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Greg, with how explosive John Moran is, he has certainly taken his fair share of awkward fall. And that's what worries you with guys like that. He's already had a number of injuries in his young career, but we all just want to see him at full health. Cavaliers making a switch here. Man's checked in, and it's Allen slamming it down. Do you not love that by any... And folks, the coach's challenge has been initiated for a personal foul. Close game like this, and he thought it wasn't a good call. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, personal fouls can be tough. The action is so fast that it... The previous play is under... Wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively, and involving the coaches by being able now to challenge like this is... After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. And the announcement on the review is that the foul was called in air. So they have determined to overrule the original call. And guys, this is what it's all about, getting the call right. And I think in this case, the video review showed that while it was a tough call to make on the floor, they got it right with the review. Here's Buzelis, still without a basket. MP shot is good. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Allen outside. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. Boy, that's a little bit of toughness and concentration. Jaron Allen under duress of the defense. Nicely done. Pass to MP. Out to Morant. Here's Buzelis. Good and a nice assist from Morant. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. The Cavaliers trail by six. Mitchell passes to Mobley. Banked in off the glass. And the ever-growing confidence of Mobley inside, he knows these are shots he can make consistently. Now here's Morant. He really was a guy who also stepped up in that win against the Nets. No zoom move. Drains it from beyond the arc. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Mitchell. He's averaging just around 28 and a half points a game. So many offensive skills in his toolkit. Chicago leading by seven. Morant passes to MP. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. And now we have a moment to recognize the player of the week in the Eastern Conference, MP. And you just look at the point totals that he has posted up during that time frame. Just some unreal numbers. Hard to argue with him as the pick when he is just putting up huge stats on offense and carrying this team with his scoring ability. White, he's checked in for Chicago. Offensively, it's been a perfect quarter for him. He hasn't missed a single shot. Ozumu finds MP. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's 86%. MP is cooking right now, and folks, this is exactly what we expected from this young man. 
Now, here's Mitchell. No scoring in this one. No good on the three. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. On the wing, Williams. MP inside. Allen defending. No good with the layup. The Cavaliers trail by six. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, guys. MP in the last time out against Brooklyn put on a show. He scored 63 points, and he did a little bit of everything for them in that one, adding a triple-double in the process. He really worked hard in that game and put up some big numbers as a result. Guys, back to you. Thank you, David. You're right. He was a one-man wrecking crew in that one. Yeah, he was not going to let them lose that game. We'll see if he comes in with that same attitude tonight. One of the things I like about this guy, he's able to up the intensity whenever needed, and players really feed off his energy. And that one's good, Feibel. I'll tell you, you are playing with fire anytime you leave this guy open, and they just got burned. Williams passes to MP. The kick out to Williams. MP against Allen. And that one's good. MP. MP's got 15 points. Yeah, how about this first quarter? Seven of nine from the field. He is putting on a show. Now, here's Mitchell. Defended by Dosumu. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. What you love about Do Donovan decides to call timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Mitchell kicks to Olenek. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. See, I think you have to get into Olenek's space because once he feels comfortable, it is trouble for the defenders. And so in the game for the Cavaliers, Allen is out there with Kelly Olenek. Then it's Donovan Mitchell. Then it's Trey Mann. And it's Feibel in at the small four. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Feibel on the wing. Astro Linick from past the arc. He is hauled in by the bull. MP's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Morant outside. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. 17 points in the game. Yeah, they're relying on their three-point shooting and getting pretty good results. Here's Mann. Still yet to score. Allen a screen on Morant. Man can't hit. And when you are as good a shooter as he is, you have to have the confidence to take that shot. It might not always fall. And for most guys, I think you only want to take that shot if you've hit a few in a row. That is absolutely a heat check. The Cavaliers trail by 13. Here's Mitchell. It's hauled in by MP. It seemed like he changed his mind halfway through the layup, tried to go to something else, and, and flat out choked it. MP powers through the contact inside. The desire to win, it, it fuels MP. It, he doesn't let anything get in his way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Astro Linick, they need this, and he's good on the three ball. Oh, Linux got five points now this quarter. Well, for a big man, his stroke is just beautiful. And because of the height, it's so hard to challenge. White dishes to MP. Morant outside. Back to MP. And they double up MP. Rocket two. Levine for three. And with the rebound. The Cavaliers trail by 12. The drive by Mitchell. Shoots over White. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. 
And that's because of the size and strength. And now, yep, this will be a coach's challenge. We thought that might happen, triggering a review of the personal foul. Patrick Williams, he's checked in for the Bulls. Dosumu comes in for John Morant. Evan Mobley's checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Trey Mann. And, and this is the time now where the official... The previous play is under the original personal foul. Getting a different angle can sometimes make it a lot easier to determine. Indeed, and the one thing with... The ruling on the floor stands. Just the immense speed at which these players are moving and how fast the action really is and, and how hard it can be sometimes, you know, Greg, to, to make the right call. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. Now here's Dosumu. He points his last outing. Here's MP. MP strong inside. Another one for MP, giving the fans their money's worth here. Outside Garland. Pass to Mobley. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Doris, I know the NBA is considering using technology to help officiate out of bounds and goaltender. Do you have a problem with that? You know, Kev, at the end of the day, I think it is about getting the calls right. If there's a way to lift the load off these officials, even if it's around the margins, why not try it? Trey Mann, he's checked in for Cleveland. Now here's Williams. Hasn't made one yet. Basket good. And the Bulls lead by 11. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Garland, the pass to Thibel. Garland surveying the D. Here's the teardrop. Allen. Picks it out to Garland. A basket good off the assist from Allen. Garland's got eight points. Garland feels comfortable from just about anywhere beyond the arc, including that short corner. Pass to MP. And stolen by Thibel. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. And then Allen slams it in. And made possible by a heads-up play defensively at the other end. And so White will bring it up for the Chicago Bulls. Here's Buzelis. Offensive rebound. Outside Garland. Down low, here's Mann, and Cleveland again with the bucket. Well, just quick with the decision-making, smart pass by Darius Garland. The Bulls leading by four. Pass to Buzelis. Back to White. Some nice ball movement here by the Bulls. The kick out to Williams. This one for three. Mobley with the rebound. Mobley's got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Now White, after the missed three from Evan Mobley. Osumu finds MP. Here's Buzelis. They can't stop the run with that one. Yeah, but the defense was determined not to give him an inch of free space. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, thanks. Darius Garland, the son of former NBA player Winston Garland, said that he was a sponge growing up listening to his dad. He hung on every word about playing point guard. Darius says, I learned the little things much quicker. He taught me at a young age to change gears to keep defenders off balance. Kevin? And he's doing it. I love the tricks of the trade you just talked about. Thank you so much. Here's Levine after the made shot from Evan Mobley. Pass to Dosumu. And stolen by Feibel. A rim-rattling two-handed jam. And you can see the importance of that steal. Really a four-point swing with the conversion at the other end. To the inside. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Now eight seconds separate in the two clocks. 
Outside Garland. There's the triple. It's all in by the Bulls. MP's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. Coming onto the floor. Here's White. They've been leaning on him for a decent chunk of their offense. He's averaging over 15 points a game. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Bulls lead by two. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. Welcome, everyone, to halftime. The Chicago Bulls find themselves in a good matchup here at the break. They're hitting at a high clip. Some shots have been wide open, some tightly contested. And as the ball continued to fall through the net, you could see their confidence growing. And let's move on to the race for Rookie of the Year. A lot of young talent in the league this season. These young fellas have been hot. Usually, I say it's too soon to tell much, but right now, they're balling. The talent on display is undeniable. The endurance part, though, open question. Thanks for spending half time with us. Time. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. And here is Garland. We've got Morant. MP out there with Patrick Williams. Then it's Buzelis. And it's Dosunmu in at the two-guard spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Pass to Mobley. Now Garland. Shot clock at five. Over Morant. It's hauled in by MP. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. It's stolen by Allen. There's Garland in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Garland's got 10 points. And Chicago shooting certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. And the Cavaliers pushing it up now. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. Here's Chicago. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Morant passes to MP. Morant Dishes to MP. Stolen by Garland. Heibel with the ball. And it's Buzelis picking him up. The Cavaliers have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Yeah, he gets them the lead at the free throw line despite the one miss. Now here's Morant, 17 points in the game, shoots the three, and there's Buzelis on the assist by MP, and it's six points for Buzelis. Mobley outside, on the wing, Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by MP. MP's got rebound number 15 here tonight. More good work on the... Oh, it's a highlight reel being put together by MP. Why, MP, what a fancy finish. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Garland, the pass to Thibel. Up top, Garland. Guarded by Morant. They retain possession. Heibel for three. Rebound by the Bulls. And 
their offense is really cooking right now. Playing with a lot of energy and really taking it to the defense. That tell you, sometimes you can make a statement with a dunk. MP, yes, sir. The Cavaliers trail by six. Mitchell outside. Mobley kicks to Thibel. No good, unable to end this run. And so MP will bring it up for Chicago. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. MP keeping his balance right there. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. It's stolen by Bruzelis. Inside. Dosunmu, the pass to MP. And they double up MP. Morant with a wide open look. And a miss there on the triple. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. Arwin kicks to Mitchell. Back to Garland. Pass to Allen. Kicks it out to Mitchell. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. You love how confident Donovan Mitchell is. On the catch-and-shoot opportunities, there's no hesitation. When it comes to the game's elite scores, Doris, Donovan Mitchell is certainly on that list. Yeah, Kevin, there's no question about it. He's a proven playoff performer, a natural leader who doesn't mind a team leaning into his scoring ability. And the beauty is he can do it in a lot of different ways. To the middle, here's Mobley. Chicago grabs the miss. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. They bullied the defense here in the paint. Look at all of those buckets inside. Just hard to defend in the paint. And they've also been successful running their offense through the post. They're making the defense respect that interior threat. Chicago making a switch here. Levine's checked in. And Cleveland also making a change. Dorian Finney-Smith's checked in for Mobile. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Williams finds MP. Some nice ball movement by the Bulls. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. The Bulls have made three of five free throw attempts. And really, the form at the line all season has been terrific. 79% as a team. Bruce Ellis has checked in for Williams. Allen left side. Back to Garland. Locked up there for Allen. And stolen by MP. And here we go, the Bulls fast break. Out to Morant, lets the three fly. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got three assists now in this one. The Cavaliers trail by 12. Pass to Garland. Allen with the screen for Garland. to Mitchell. Shot to stop the run. Nailed from three-point land. Mitchell's got six in the quarter. After hitting nothing from downtown in the first half, that's his second make sense. Kick out to Levine. Grabs the rebound again. He holds in his 20th rebound. Dominating the glass. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Mitchell looking it over. Chicago grabs the miss. MPs. Pass to Morant. Traps in the tray. Morant's got 23 points. Really in a good position thanks to the accuracy from beyond. Mitchell passes to Finney Smith. Right side, Garland. In the corner, Finney Smith with it. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer off line. The Bulls leading by 14. 
Here's Buzelis, and he uses the glass on the layup. Buzelis has got his third bucket of the night. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Mitchell outside. Now, here's Thibel, guarded by Levine. No good from Finney Smith. Chicago's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Out to Morant. Another three for Chicago. That's his fifth triple of the night. Two in the first half, three in this one. Huge production. And Mike Budenholzer is called a timeout. He wants to talk to his guy. MP really making a difference here. And he has absolutely worn them out in the paint. They, they need to come up with a plan to limit his touches in the interior. Kobe White, he's checked in for Morant. Then for the Cavaliers, Wendell Carter, he's checked in for Jared Allen. And it's Trey Mann in for Mitchell. Here's Garland looking to end the run. The shot by Carter, nobody around. No good with the triple. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here's MP, and he drops in the layup off the glass. MP's got 13 points here in the second half alone. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Here's Mann, defended by Dosumu. Now, man, he's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Bangs home the trifecta. Man's got his second basket of the night. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Outside Levine. Right the pass to MP. Here's Buzelis. Good, and the assist goes to MP. MP's got his fifth assist in this one. It's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. 132 left in the third. Yep, it counts. So hard to stay with off the bounce. Darius Garland, such a nice collection of pull-ups, floaters, you name it. Outside, White. Down low. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to be on Wendell Carter. Bulls shooting their seventh attempt at the foul line in this one. Norkic checked in for Chicago. Cleveland also making some changes. Kelly Olenek comes in for leg. Dorian Finney-Smith. And McCaw is subbed in for Matisse Thibel. Free throw good, MP. And you talk about building a legacy. That's MP's mindset, not just for himself, but for this team. White against Garland. Astro Olenek, the tray. Another three for Cleveland. What a beautiful stroke from range. Defensively, you've got to try to take him out of his comfort zone. MP with it. Olenek is covering. Here's Dosunmu. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Dosunmu's got six points. The Cavaliers shooting not looking uh, too good out there in the second half, right around 32%. Garland, the pass to Carter. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Chicago leading by 22. Pass to MP. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Cleveland gets called for the foul. Boy, this guy has not been in the league long, but MP has such a tremendous knack of getting to the line. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Cavaliers shooting not great, 40% for the game. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Screen by Olenek. Here's Mann, Astro Olenek, and out of bounds is Chicago gains possession. Listen, turnovers happen. You've got to move on to the next play. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. And it's White missing. 
McMahon with it. Here's McCaw. It's good from long range. Six points for him. The three quarters of play all in the books, and this one all but over already. Bulls ahead, running away with it. And we've got... Let's listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team in the huddle. Just keep riding. Keep getting stopped. The offensive pump. See if we can move it a And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. by Billy Donovan. He has decided it's the right time to talk. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Here's Mitchell. And it's MV with the rebound. Bulls leading by 18. White finds Morant. MP inside. He's against the Linux. And MP throws it down. Oh, that's a big time finish by MP. This is why guys encourage him to be aggressive. Cleveland's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Astro Linux. We've heard some players' doors propose that refs should be fined for missed calls, especially with the game on the line. What do you think? Kevin, I couldn't disagree more. First and foremost, the level of accountability for NBA officials is unprecedented. And keep in mind, there is discipline for high-profile mistakes and mistakes of all kinds. Every single game, every single call is evaluated, and you see their progression in terms of, yes, they'll officiate in the playoffs, or no, they won't. We are right where we need to be. Pass to Mitchell for three, and there's the call on Matisse Theibel. That'll be his second foul of the game, and the Bulls making a change here. Dosumu's checked in. Jared Allen's checked in for the Cavaliers. Garland comes in for Trey Mann. And they double up MP. The three from Morant. Good, and it's MP picking up the assist. MP's got his seventh assist here tonight. And here are the Cavaliers now. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Back to Garland. Lobbed up there for Allen. A shot missing. And the timing just not there on that attempted alley-oop. Just a missed connection, and it happens. I'm sure they will go back to it if given the opportunity. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Thibault kicks to Olenek. Pass to Garland. Mitchell a screen on Morant. There's Garland. The Cavaliers again can't hit. The Bulls have gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. MP inside. Allen defending. And this is the thing about MP. He has the poise to take high percentage shots. Over to the wing. Allen a screen on Morant. Garland attacking. They need this one. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Great rim protection to prevent him from converting. Beautiful. And the dunk by MP. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. Cleveland has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Allen with the screen for Garland. Allen shot is off. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing. And another one. Dominating offensively once again. He is making a habit of this. He's now tied for the fifth most 50-point games in a single season. That puts him in rare company. Back to Garland. 
Or as we're in the world now of super agencies, which consolidate player representation. What do you think? Well, Kev, I think obviously it gives some more power to the players because of the bargaining leverage. But for player movement, does it give more power to the big market teams? We're going to have to watch this unfold. From the wing, that one falls. What a game so far for Darius Garland, and he's just getting started, folks. Chicago has gone three of five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. White, wide open, he fires. And it's off from three-point range. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Pass to Thibel. Back to Garland. Oh. Allen, a screen on Morant. Garland. And it's Chicago with the rebound. 141 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now, here's MP. Here's Bujellis. Here's Dosunmu. Offline with his three. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Chicago. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And it'll advance their win total up to 12 on the season. And once it becomes official, this win gives them a nice confidence boost against this team. They'll face them twice more this season. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And looking at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for MP. Boy, this guy played with some swagger and intensity on the boards tonight, dominating the physical aspect of the game. Here's Allen. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Well, this guy's such a reliable presence on the glass. Jared Allen using that length to save the play. Over in the corner, Dosumu. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Right wing. Pass to MP. Over in the corner, Dosumu. Pocket six. MP against Allen. Two points, that one goes. MP's got 53. They made the most of their opportunities looking comfortable and locked in throughout the night. What an impressive performance to say the least. At this point, it looks insurmountable. Outside Garland. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. And tonight, not just a regular season win. It also counts in the NBA Cup standing. And if you look at the teams that advance in the Cup, you, you normally have to win this first game. So they're off to a strong start. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports... Great win tonight, MP. Solid effort tonight on both ends.